Hey guys, so I have a little bit of a different setup right now. I am actually on the ground behind my lovely dresser and I'm doing my back to school clothing supplies haul. Um, I'm so excited to do this and I organized it more by articles of clothing than brand so I'll just say the brand when I hold them up. And I am wearing a Ramones shirt not because I enjoy them and if you do enjoy them I'm not saying that's bad. Um, I only got it because my dad hates Ramones so I got it in spite of him. The shoes that haven't arrived yet, I'll just put a picture right here, they're from Vans. Um, I went to the Mall of America and I went to the Vans store, but they didn't have my size. Um, and they're leather, I was going to get them originally, I was just going to get the canvas, but I saw the leather ones and I was like, yes. Just know that those are coming, I just got the black and white ones, so yeah, I'm super excited for those. So since I'm on the topics of shoes, I guess I'll just continue with these babies that I just got today. Um, I love Doc Martens, they're my top two favorite of shoes, the other one being Vans, could you guess? And I went to Journeys today and I saw these babies and I was like, yes. And they are Journeys exclusive, so if you don't have a Journeys near you, you'll have to get them online on the Journeys website if you want these exact ones. Um, Doc Martens just has regular ones, but they don't have this like kind of rubbery almost thing at the top. But I really like these. Um, they also have them in black, which I loved as well. However, I have so many black shoes, and as you just saw, I'm ordering another pair. So I was like, well, I do have maroon bands, but this is kind of a different maroon, and they're boots, so I can justify it. Um, in case you don't know me, I am a shoe addict. Um, I actually do just, did just get another pair of shoes that are also from Vans. Everybody has their thing that they spend money on that they kind of like obsess over, and mine is shoes. So yeah, these are the shoes that I got that I can physically show you, and they're great. Okay, so I'm kind of already on the topic of like extra things that aren't necessarily clothes, so I'll just show you the other few things that I got that aren't actually clothes. I got this beanie from Neff, which I actually got from Zoomies. I love Neff beanies, but this is a little different type. Um, it's like really long and then if you fold it up it has like the Neff little square. Most of my beanies from Neff are like these, this isn't a new one, it just has a little symbol but I saw this and I liked the color a lot. So you can either wear this like this where it's folded up or you can just fold it down and have the square just awkwardly there and just have it saggy which I probably will be doing most of the time. But I also love beanies so, and since it is becoming like fall and winter soon kind of. Um, I just thought I'd get another beanie. I got some socks here. I don't remember which ones are from Zoomies and which ones are from PacSun, but I got these ones, and then I got similar ones, but they're like maroon and cream, and these black ones, and these ones for sure are from Urban Outfitters, and they're just slouchy ones. I don't know, they're just socks. Um, I like the knee-high ones because I can wear them with like my Doc Martens that go like higher up and I just kind of like scrunch them at the bottom, I don't know, something that I think is cool. The next thing is from Urban Outfitters, it's this bralette. I've been loving these. I have a few of them already. I also have like a few from Free People and I don't like them as much so I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. But I like these way better. It, it's nice too because it clasps. So whoa, what was that? I got it in a mint color. I have a few other colors but I hadn't gotten mint so I just got this. And the last kind of etc. thing is from American Eagle, which is this bag. This isn't really school-y, but I just loved this bag. Look at it. It's cute. And then if you don't like the tassels, just flip it to this side. I guess you could like cut them off, but I don't mind them. So yeah, I just got this bag. I thought it'd be a good like sleepover bag and stuff, because I just used this old Victoria's Secret like free pink bag I got like years ago. So I thought it was time probably for a new bag, and this one was adorable. Okay, so now moving on to just regular shirts. I got this one from American Eagle, which is so soft. It's ridiculous. Um, they had a bunch of different ones, and they had kind of these ones where it's like, almost looks like jersey material, and they had solid colored ones, but I got this in kind of this green and black. Um, and I got this in a medium, which is kind of obviously bigger than my size, but it looked kind of short, and I don't mind baggy things, so I usually get things in medium, even though I could technically fit in a small. This is from Zoomies. It's the brand is Obey, and it's, again, super incredibly soft. It feels like Wild Fox, almost, because I felt Wild Fox, like, jumpers, I think it's what they're called, and it feels exactly like it. Um, it's like these guns pointing to flowers. Um, I just thought it was cool. I'm not sure what the symbolism means, but it's also super soft, so of course I had to pick that up. The next thing I also got from Zoomies, and I don't know what that brand is, but it just looks like this. It's this nice shirt. Um, it's just something where it's like, I, if I'm lazy, but I still want to kind of look put together, this can be like that. And I like how it's like baggy, but the arms were tight, so it just fits nicely, I think. So the next thing is from Zoomies, and the brand is Honey. I have recently fell in love with this brand. Um, I love just like the fabric of their shirts. Um, and I got this one. I saw it a few weeks ago, and I regretted not picking it up, so I got it this time. 
and it doesn't say anything on the back but just say honey right there. Um, I really like it. It's, I don't know, it's just so soft. Then the last t-shirt I have to show you is from Obey and it is this. I just thought it was kind of a cool little crest. Um, I don't know, I really like Obey so I got this nice, it's like hunter green color. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Then for kind of like skirts and awkward pants, um, I got this skirt which I thought was cool and it's not necessarily my style but I liked it. This is from Zoomies. Um, it has this flower and then kind of like almost bandana pattern. Um, and it is definitely long enough where I can wear to school and it's all this cool kind of fabric. So I don't know, I just really liked this. Um, it's definitely like girly, but it's not too girly so it's like comfortable for me to wear. And then I got another skirt because they were having a deal. So I got this one which is in kind of a different pattern, um, but it's black with like purple and blue roses. I thought this was cute as well. Um, and they're both by the same brand which I don't even know what it says, but you know. Zoomies was actually having a lot of deals, so then it was buy one, get one half off of their pants, but I got three of them, so I guess that deal kind of went beat. I got these, which are from that weird brand. I don't know what this is. Can you read this? I don't know what that says, but these are where the weird things are coming from. I got these kind of like, I don't know what they, he called them like jogger pants. And it has this cool pattern on them, and they're like tight at the bottom. And they're really, I call them genie pants. I have um, a, two other pairs kind of like them and they're so nice because I don't like wearing sweatpants to school and so these kind of like substitute as my sweatpants. So then I got these ones which are by Noli. Oh wait, actually I only got two pairs from Zoomie so I did get the buy one get one half off. And this is by the brand That Weird One and these are cool because they're like gray with zippers but look at they have like these black knee or ankle patches I guess. So I really liked that and then they have zippers and these aren't as like flowy as the other ones. They're definitely more sweatpantsy but they're still like the jogger style. These ones I got from PacSun. Um, these are the first pair that I got that I was like oh my gosh. I guess they're in style now but I liked these because look at the knees. They're like, I don't know, I have jeans that look like this so I was like why not get a sweatpant version. These are from American Eagle and they had a f another kind of tribal or Aztec-y pattern but I got these colors and yeah, again, same kind of deal here. These look more pajama-y, pajama-y, but they're still, I know, they. I'd probably wear these more in the winter. They kind of remind me of like, Christmas pants, so got a few of those joggers. Now we'll move on to sweatshirts. I got quite a few from Zoomies. So this one is from Obey and it's just pretty plain on the front and the sleeves are really cool. They're like, they kind of look like bones or something, but I think it's just tie-dyed or like bleached, I guess. And then the back, it has this little thing. It's a very thick sweatshirt. Um, it's by Obey. It has like a skull and a snake and a rose. I don't know. It's very hardcore. Um, I just liked it. I don't know. This one's also from Obey, and it has a little woman in the front. And then she's very back, or very big in the back, make art, not war. I also have a tank top. That's a similar thing, but this one's in color, and it's a black sweatshirt. Yeah, these sweatshirts, um, I don't have a lot of sweatshirts like this where they're just like pullovers and thick ones that you just kind of like on those days where you're like, I don't care. Um, like I said, they're having these like random deals, so I was like, well, might as well. Um, this one I really liked. They didn't have a medium, so I got in a small, which sucks because it's my favorite one, and it's the most like comfy feeling. Um, again, by Obey, and it has this little scuba octopus on the front, and then he's big in the back. As, can you see a theme with their sweatshirts? Really love that. This is also by Zoomies. Um, it looks like a baseball team. It's Crooks. The brand is that. I don't think Crooks is an actual baseball team. Um, I'm not athletic, and I'm not really into sports, if you know me, so it's like my fake little sport thing. <laughs> I like this sweatshirt just because it doesn't have a hoodie, so it's like this is just more of like a, just a throw over. The other ones I'd be like, I'd like put the hood over and like not talk to anyone the whole day and like potato. This last one, I got a hat with this little alien guy on it and I love this hat. So I saw this sweatshirt and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, this is from PacSun. It's just one of those like typical awesome sweatshirts, but look at the little alien dude. And like I said, I have a hat with this exact thing and the hat's like gray. So I just saw this and I was like, oh yeah. These are two kind of flannelly shirts. Um, the first one I'm actually gonna wear for my senior pictures and it is by BDG, but I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's just this really baggy um, denim almost shirt. And yeah, this is one of the, I have three different 
outfits for senior pictures, but this is one of them. So yeah, I really liked this, but I wanted a shirt like this for my senior pictures, and for some reason I didn't have one in that style, which is what I was looking for. So I got that. And then I also got um, from BDG or Urban Outfitters this flannel. Um, again, if you don't know me, I really like flannels. I don't have a black and white flannel and with like gold detailing. Yeah, I don't really have a black and white one, so I was like, well, you know, it's still different. Um, yeah, I really like this little flannel. I Now that I have so many, it's become like a problem. Um, even like whenever people go in my closet, like half of it's dedicated to my flannels. So I thought I should get variety now instead of just getting like blue and red ones. So I got that. Next are three sweaters that are all from American Eagle. This one's more of like, it's kind of like a sweater sweatshirt. Um, it's like Western Aztec-y. It has a hood. Um, it has arms that are like three quarter sleeves. I don't know what this was, but I just liked it. It's kind of like a drug rug. I don't know if you guys know what they are. They're kind of like ponchos with arms. It's kind of like a sweater version of that. I don't know, I just liked it. I, they had a few other colors and styles too, but I just like that one. And the next two are the same exact sweaters, but different colors. Um, I didn't realize that till I got home and I was detagging everything. I was like, oh, these are the same exact sweater. That's okay. So I got this one, was the first one I picked up. It's just this woven sweater and I don't know, it's just nice. I got it, again, a size too big, and my school doesn't allow leggings, but I feel like these could be long enough where I could pass. Um, then I saw this kind of mustard yellow one, and I was like, wow, I don't have anything in my closet that's this color. So I was like, well, I might as well pick up a sweater in it. One thing to keep in mind is if I say anything's from American Eagle and you can't find it, that's because the American Eagle at the mall that I go to is a test store. So they put things in there that none other stores have and to see how well they sell, to see if they want to sell them everywhere else. So there might be like exclusive things at that American Eagle, at least for the meantime. So yeah, the last thing I've been waiting to show because I don't know if I needed this many jeans, but I got this many jeans. And I love my jeans, so I'm just gonna show you my jeans. I don't know why I got so many jeans, but I love them. So I finally tried on American Eagle pants because one time I tried on their shorts and they never fit, so I'm just like fixing my nose ring. Um, so I was like, well, I'm gonna try their jeans this year, and I got three of them, so they did fit nicely. Or no, I got four. Oops. Um, these are like the weirdest feeling. They're like corduroy without the stripes. I know. I don't know if I like them, but I just like the color of this plum almost. So yeah, they're skinny jeans. Then I got these ones, which are so cool. I love the rips down the whole pant, if you can see that. Light wash, I'm becoming more familiar with. I was very scared of light wash for a long time in my life, but now I'm finding shirts that like are darker. I'm like, I want a lighter pant to go with it, so I did break out my comfort zone and get a few light wash jeans, so this is one pair. Then I got these, which are nice. Um, they're just like a typical darker blue, but the rips in them weren't fully rips because I did get a lot of ripped jeans because I don't have any, so that's why I got so many. <laughs> I'm trying to justify my purchases here. But um, these are skinny and they do have rips, but they're not as dramatic. It's just more like distressed. Um, there is a hole on this side, but otherwise it's not as drastic holes as the other ones. So if I didn't want to be too beaten up with my pants, these would be a good option. Then I realized, because I... Look at this. I got flared jeans. I do not like flared jeans. And I already took off the tags. Look at this is gonna look horrible in my ankles because I have little baby ankles. Look at the flare that it's gonna have. <gasps> That's awful, I could fit both my ankles in these. So I'm gonna throw those over there and remember to get rid of them. Hello everyone, I am back like two hours later. Um, I tried on the jeans that I said I wasn't gonna like that were flared and although I still would prefer skinny ones, I think I don't mind them. And I think I will wear them eventually because I've never had a pair of jeans like this and I don't mind them. So actually, false alarm, I don't mind them. So just thought I'd put it out there. I don't mind these jeans. Anyways, so then I went to Bullhead, or that's the brand, I went to PacSun to get these. And these are the boyfriend, they're the skinny boyfriend. Um, they're too short, so I like cuff the bottom. But these are very, they, they're not 
oh, so much ripped, but it's like have holes in them. And do you see how they're kind of like shorter than usual? So I cuff the jeans, otherwise it's like awkward length where it's like you're flooding the jeans. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, so they're light washed, but they were the ones with like the biggest holes. So I was like, well, why not? Because that's the first place I went for my jeans. These are also by Bullhead. They're having buy one, get one half off on one side of the store and buy one, get one free on the other side of the store with their jeans. And I was like, oh my gosh, a free pair of jeans. Um, these ones are just regular black skinny jeans, um, not nothing special, but I was like, well, I got a few from that side anyway, so I was like, well, might as well grab a few more to get them free. This, I believe, is on the half-off side, so they're high-waisted with the multiple button, and they have just, like, holes at the knees, and then these are the ones you'll probably have to cuff as well. Um, oh, these are from Brandy Melville, not from Bullhead. The nice thing about the Brandy Melville jeans is I know Brandy Melville's one size fits most, um, their jeans are not like that, so yeah, Brandy Melville jeans do have sizes. These are also by Melville, um, they're just like the most typical blue jean you could think of with like holes in them. As you can see, I was definitely going for ripped jeans this year. I don't know, if, I mean obviously they're coming back because I looked for the ripped jeans last year and I didn't have such luck. And they're like kind of acid wash and the bottom's kind of awkward because it's just like this random really dark blue, but they have again the knee kind of gashes I'd like to say. So, I don't know, I just like these because they're like light wash, but they're almost white. So, because I don't want to get pure white jeans, so these are probably the closest I have to white. These are the average blue jeans that I got, but they're high rise, which is, well, they're really high waisted. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, they're regular skinny jeans. Apparently I should not get regular blue jeans because I get the weirdest ones. And then last but not least I got these, which are like brown, which I was like, oh, I don't know if I like these. Um, these again are the high-waisted, which are like very high-waisted, which will go up to like my belly button, or higher actually. Uh, they have one little bit of like patch of distress, and they're skinny. Um, I don't know. I was like, I don't, I don't have, I've never seen these color of jeans before. Look at them. They're like brown. So I was like, I mean, I can work with brown jeans, so I was like, yeah, why not? Oh. I forgot to show you guys, I did go to Sephora as well, or as my grandma says, Sephora. I just got a few things from there, so I'll show you. I got this because a long time ago, one of you guys suggested the makeup eraser, and I finally saw it. They said you could get I think, at Sephora, but I've never seen it. So maybe I'll do a review on this. If you guys are interested, let me know. I know, I thought it was cool, so i would never seen it before, so I was like, well, I'll try it. I also got this last minute. Both of these things were like last minute. I was like, oh my gosh, quick throw them to the cashier. Um, this is the Blotterazzi, Blotterazzi, what, by Beauty Blender, it's these blotting pads. I never use the blotting pads, but I've now also never had the Blotterazzi. Um, it comes with a free liquid, I don't know. So what you do is it's like blotting pads, keep me, don't toss me, don't tell me what to do. If your makeup gets oily, you like pat this down, and it's like a reusable one, which is why I never use the regular ones, because I feel like I'm just going to run out and so I just never use them because logic. Um, so I just thought I'd use these. I'd seen someone, maybe it was Graveyard Girl or something, talk about it and I was like, well, again, I saw it last minute and it was just impulse buy, so the Blotterazzi, everyone. Then I got this. They only had the special edition one left, but this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Look at it, it's like floating in there. I was like poking at this earlier. Um, yeah, they're all out of the regular one in black, so I was like, well, I guess I got the special edition one. I've never tried anything Kat Von D, and I like Kat Von D a lot, so you think I'd get her stuff, but I don't know. Oh, I can't open it, but that's okay. So, apparently your tattoo liner does wonders, so I was like, well, I'll try it, and so I got the special one. I became a VIB rogue today. Rouge. Rogue. Nope. Rouge. I have like a thousand something points, but I just, I never use them because I'm like, well, maybe someday something will be like a thousand points and I'll want to use it. So I always save. So I became one of these today, which is, I just feel like so special. Um, I got these. I, oh, I got this. This is one thing. Um, the Boxing Lash. This is my favorite mascara ever. And I just got another one because I needed it. This came with my VIB Rouge. It's a Marc Jacobs lipstick in So Rouge, which makes sense. And it looks like they all it's so nice. I forgot. Since I was like, I'd never gotten anything from Kat Von D and I've been looking for lipstick, I got three of her studded lipsticks. So my hand, if you haven't 
maybe you didn't notice, but I tried to get off as best I can, but if it looks a little bruised, it's because I was testing all these lipsticks. Um, so I got three of them, so I will show them to you, and should I swatch for you guys? Should I get my hand even more bruised? These packaging, these things, what? These, this, oh. This packaging is so cool. Look at it. It's like it's like this little studded thing. Look at it. I like it. Um, yeah, I just like this. Um, so this one is called Hexagram. Hmm. Smells like Mac. I only have two Mac lipsticks, so maybe I shouldn't jump to conclusions here. But okay, let's see if I can do this correctly. Oh, yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, I was going to get one very similar to it, but a little bit more pinky, but I was like, well, if I'm going to go for red lipstick, let's go for red now. Let's not chicken out. So that's what that looks like. Um, hexagram. Then I got this Cathedral, which was so nice. Come out, little Cathedral. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. These are the lipstick colors, like this one and the next one I'll show you are the ones I typically gravitate towards, which is kind of like a mauve color. Um, it's kind of like darker than my lip color, but still in kind of the pinky purpley zone. Um, and I have one from Tarte that I use like every day, and it's a matte one. So I was like, well, I might as well try a different brand. So this is what Lolita looks like. Oh, come here. There we go. So they are all three different, but oh, look it. <gasps> the lip. This is all it comes with. This is as big as the lipstick gets. This is like nothing. This is a small little... Really? This is it? This is the size for like 21 bucks? Look at this. This is nothing. I could just chop it off. Well, that's kind of a rip off. Anyways, that's a complaint. There's like nothing in here. I was expecting it to be like, like 10 feet tall. Well, I mean... <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I wish there was a little bit more product in here, but that's okay. I was going to point out that on the lipstick, oh, come on now. It has like the Kat Von D stamp, but now I'm just disappointed, so I'm gonna hide that. Maybe it's closer to the Lolita color is the one by Tarte. I don't know, so I got three of these little Kat Von D little things. Maybe the packaging makes up for the lack of product, but that's okay. Now I have these on my hand. I don't like when people like swatch things and they just leave it. Should I just take my receipt and like just smear it off? I feel like otherwise if I leave the lipstick on my hand it'll like get on my shirt and everywhere else. So we're just gonna, okay that's good enough. Hopefully this doesn't mind or bother you. Then I got this because I only have the Benefit Professional primer and to be honest I don't know if I notice a difference before and after I use it but I don't really use it that much just because I'm like I don't care you know enough but I thought I'd get an actual primer so this is a Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is the clear one this is just like the original so I was like well I guess I'll just try the original see if I like it and then get like ones for pores or one for acne um, so yeah, I just got the original clear one, so I don't know, I've never had anything by Smashbox, so I guess we'll see if I like their primer. And the last thing I got is something that I've been meaning to get for like years now, but the one time that I was asking the lady like, hey, do you recommend the Hula Bronzer? She said I was too pale for it. And then she recommended something by, I believe, Smashbox, so that was actually a lie. I do have something from them. It's their bronzer. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get their Hula Bronzer this time. Because I helped myself today, because that's normally how I do things. This one's blue. I shouldn't have smelled that, anyways. Oh. Mm -hmm. Their boxed bronzer doesn't smell like I have the blush and I don't know if it smells good. This doesn't smell good, that's okay. Should I cover the mirror like all them gurus do? Um, this is the color, and I was like, you know what? First off, I am tan from the summer. I don't know if you can believe it, but like, if you see my tan lines, like right now, can you see that? I don't know. But I'm really pale, like where my swimsuit covers, and so I have tan, so this is my tan. So it'll at least good, look good for now before it all wears off and I become extremely pale again. Although I do look pale right now. I just. You know what, I decided I'm gonna finally get the bronzer that I've been looking at for like a year and I just crossed, you know, I walked by it because that one lady said I shouldn't get it, but 
I want to decide for myself. It looks bad for once, okay? So that is everything. Um, I'm super excited for my clothes and I'm very lucky and I did forget to say, um, I'm not trying to show off at all with this haul. It's an annual thing I do with my family is back to school shopping. We do it every year. My brother's 21 and we still did it with him. Um, so it's something we do every year and it's like the biggest shopping trip we go on through the whole year and it's not normally like this. And I'm not at all trying to brag. Um, a lot of you guys ask for kind of like style and I will do a lookbook sometime, um, but I thought this would be a good way for you guys to see my style. Again, hopefully you guys don't receive this as like I'm just showing off and like look at all the stuff I have. Like, I'm not at all trying to brag, and on my last haul you guys had really good feedback, so I thought I'd do another one. And I've been doing back to school hauls for a long time on YouTube, so I thought I'd keep the tradition going. Anyways, I hope you guys like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!